Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, we talk about all things homesteading, homemaking, and just the journey to a more slow and simple life. And in today's video, I want to share with you how to transform something that's probably a big part of your morning routine. If you haven't guessed it, it is coffee. So for many of us, we are big coffee drinkers. I love my morning coffee. I know so many people love coffee. And where I live, America, I know just as a whole nation, we kind of have an obsession with coffee, maybe to an unhealthy point. The big thing I want to talk about is making your own creamer for your coffee. Of course, here on this channel, we talk about, like I've said, homesteading and just natural living in general. And with coffee being such a big part of our day to day for most of us, um, a lot of people buy creamers at the store just for convenience sake. And if not going and getting coffee from these kinds of chains, the one local to me is Dunkin Donuts, there's Starbucks, there's all kinds of things like that. And I'm not trying to say that anybody who does that is in the wrong necessarily, but I think it's something that people don't really think about. They're not really consciously making that choice. It's just kind of something that's in the routine. And I want to talk about how easy it is to make a creamer for your coffee that you can be confident in, that you know align with your values. Just for information, in case you don't know, we will look up the most popular, kind of cheaper creamer that I see in stores is the brand Coffee Mate. And let's look and see what the ingredients of a French vanilla Coffee Mate creamer is. So here are the ingredients and only the third ingredient in is vegetable oil. Now, I don't know about you, but I do not want to be drinking vegetable oil. It says it comes from soybean and canola oil, which is not something I want to uh, have in my body. And there's all kinds of artificial flavors and things like that, etc. Now, looking at a creamer, you might not think you'll find stuff like that in it, but that is part of what I'm hoping to achieve with videos like this. I hope to make more in the future that you might be shocked to know what is in the food that you just get conveniently at the store. Especially with something like this, I just want to share because it really is easy to make the alternative. Now let's look at another brand. We'll look at the Starbucks, Starbucks brand caramel creamer just to see because that's much more expensive and somebody might think, oh, I won't get the cheap coffee mate because there's probably bad stuff in it, but oh, this Starbucks one, much more expensive to buy, must be a lot better. It starts off a little bit better. It has heavy cream, it has sugar, but looking at this, the fifth ingredient in is once again, vegetable oil made from soybean oil. So same, same situation. And this is basically the same thing, just for much more money. Now, if you ever want me to talk about why you might not want to consume things like vegetable oils and other things like that, I can definitely do videos on it, but I just recommend you doing lots of your own research on the topics of food in general and what foods you are comfortable eating and having for your family because there is no right decisions. Every family dynamic is going to look different, but I just encourage you to do lots of research and to be a educated consumer. For me, I do not want to be drinking vegetable oil and I know that not only can I make a product that is better for my body, but in the end of the day, it turns out being much cheaper than continuously buying these convenient creamers. It is so easy that I almost didn't think to even make this video because I'm like, it would be so quick and most people must know this. But 
kind of looking deeper into the internet, I realize people don't know it, or if they do, they just think it must be too hard or something, but it is so easy. I, on a typical day-to-day, -day, just put some heavy cream and a little bit of maple syrup in my coffee and spin it up with my little uh, whipper device that I have for coffee. I can link that in the description below for you. I got it off Amazon and it's really nice. And that serves my purpose for a nice creamer in the morning. I love the maple flavor and I love just the heavy cream. You can also use half and half if you'd like less cream. But if you want to get fancier, you definitely can. You can add just a smidge of vanilla extract to your cream with maple syrup and whip that all together before putting it on and to get that kind of French vanilla flavor. You can use other types of sugars as well. You can use traditional uh, cane sugar. You can use honey in coffee. Uh, like I said, maple syrup is the one I use very often. You can even use brown sugar. I thought something we could do together that I've actually not done before, but I'm kind of looking forward to it because I haven't had a caramel based anything in a very long time is I'm going to make a homemade caramel sauce and this sauce you could use on desserts and stuff as well but I'm thinking I can add it to my cream to make a nice caramel coffee and I'm gonna really enjoy that especially when we transition from hot coffee which is what I do more in the cold months and sometimes rainy days like today but I really like to make cold brew in the spring and summer. But with that, let's get started on our caramel sauce. So I have all my ingredients ready because that just makes it so much easier. And it is just four ingredients to make this caramel sauce. It is a cup of sugar, a half cup of cream, three tablespoons of butter, and then two tablespoons of water, which I need to get. And you start the recipe just by putting your sugar and your two tablespoons of water in a medium saucepan. Then we're gonna put this over a medium heat and we're going to stir it until it comes to a boil. So that looks like it is starting to boil so we're going to leave that until it starts turning a kind of amber color. We're not going to stir it at this point. We're going to leave it. Okay, we remove from the heat. In goes the cream. And we're going to mix it up. So now for the taste test of our caramel sauce. Mmm, mmm. That is perfect caramel. Mmm. Oh, I'm obsessed. That's so good. And that was so incredibly easy. That was the first time I've ever done it. And it took only like five minutes to do so that mixed in with some cream or half and half in a coffee that's gonna be amazing so your caramel sauce can be put in a jar and it says it'll keep in the fridge for up to two weeks but I have a feeling that I'll probably get through it <laughs> before then but man so good. That tastes so good. I'm very happy with that. I can't stop tasting it. This would also be perfect to go on some homemade vanilla ice cream. This is just so good. I'm so proud of this. I used a salted butter in my recipe because I like the salt with the caramel, but you could just use regular butter if you don't want salt. You could use regular butter if that's all you have and then add some salt. It's completely up to you. But using a salted butter was a very good ratio of salt.
So there, we got our fancy pantsy coffee. Mm. And that tastes just as good, definitely better than those expensive drinks that you might get at some place like a Starbucks. This tastes just like a caramel macchiato and it's all from home. I know every ingredient that's in this and I am happy with it and happy to put it in my body. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know because I'd love to make others. I think it's very important to help educate people about what food they're eating, what real food is, and how you can implement it into your life to help make more educated choices when it comes to feeding yourself and your family. With that, I am going to take my coffee and get all the stuff I need to get done today, and I will wish you well. Until next time, bye bye